Catherine Johanna Kalman was an American faith healer and evangelist. Personal life, Catherine Johanna Kalman was born in Concordia, Missouri, to German-American parents. She was born again at the age of 14 in the Methodist Church of Concordia, and began preaching in the West at the age of 16 in primarily Baptist churches. In 1935, Catherine met Burroughs Altrip, a Texas evangelist who was eight years her senior. Shortly after his visit to Denver, Altrip divorced his wife, left his family and moved to Mason City, Iowa, where he began a revival center called Radio Chapel. Catherine and her friend and pianist Helen Goliford came into town to help him raise funds for his ministry. It was shortly after their arrival that the romance between Burroughs and Catherine became publicly known. Burroughs and Catherine decided to wed. While discussing the matter with some friends, Catherine had said that she could not a euro or find the will of God in the matter a euro. These and other friends encouraged her not to go through with the marriage, but Catherine justified it to herself and others by believing that El Tripe a euro unregistered trademark s wife had left him, not the other way around. On October 18, 1938, Catherine secretly married a Euro OE Mr., a Euro as she liked to call Altrip, in Mason City. The wedding did not give her new peace about their union, however. After they checked into their hotel that night, Catherine left and drove over to the hotel where Helen was staying with another friend. She sat with them weeping and admitted that the marriage was a mistake. No one seems to know exactly when the separation took place. In a 1952 interview with the Denver Post she said, he charged a euro correctly a euro that I refused to live with him. And I haven't seen him in eight years. That would put the separation in 1944 a euro, which is probably accurate. This means they lived together for the better part of six years. She was divorced by Burroughs and Trepp in 1948. Ministry Kyleman traveled extensively around the United States and in many other countries holding healing crusades between the 1940s and 1970s. She was one of the most well-known healing ministers in the world. Kyleman had a weekly TV program in the 1960s and 1970s called I Believe in Miracles that was aired nationally. The foundation was established in 1954, and its Canadian branch in 1970. Towards her latter years she was supportive of the nascent Jesus People movement which a groundswell of interest in Jesus among young teens formerly associated with drugs and the counterculture. Following a 1967 fellowship in Philadelphia, Dr. William A. Nolan conducted a case study of 23 people who claimed to have been cured during her services. Nolan's long-term follow-ups concluded that there were no cures in those cases. One woman who was said to have been cured of spinal cancer threw away her brace and ran across the stage at Kyleman's command. Her spine collapsed the next day and she died four months later. By 1970 she moved to Los Angeles conducting faith healing for thousands of people each day as an heir to Amy Semple McPherson. She became well known for her uncanny gift of healing despite, as she often bragged, having no theological training. In 1975, Kyleman was sued by Paul Bartholomew, her personal administrator, who claimed that she kept $1 million in jewelry and $1 million in fine art hidden away and sued her for $430,500 for breach of contract. Two former associates accused her in the lawsuit of diverting funds and of illegally removing records, which she denied and said the records were not private. According to Kyleman, the lawsuit was settled prior to trial. Death and Legacy in July 1975 her doctor diagnosed her with a minor heart flare-up and she had a relapse in November while in Los Angeles. As a result, she had open-heart surgery in Tulsa, Oklahoma from which she died in February 1976. Catherine Kalman is interred in the Forest Lawn Memorial Park Cemetery in Glendale, California. A plaque in her honor is located in the main city park in Concordia, Missouri a town located in central Missouri on Interstate Highway 70. After she died, her will led to controversy. She left $267,500, the bulk of her estate, to three family members and 20 employees. Smaller bequests were given to 19 other employees. According to the Independent Press Telegram, her employees were disappointed that she did not leave most of her estate to the foundation as she had done under a previous 1974 will. 
the Catherine Kyleman Foundation has continued, but in 1982 it terminated its nationwide radio broadcasting. She influenced faith healers Benny Hinn and Billy Burke. Hinn has adopted some of her techniques and wrote a book about her. In 1981 David Byrne and Brian Eno sampled one of Kyleman's sermons in their album My Life in the Bush of Ghosts. The track was entitled The Spirit Womb, a mishearing of Kyleman's actual utterance The Spirit World. When Kyleman's estate refused to license the use of her voice, the track was re-recorded as the Jezebel Spirit with an unidentified exorcist's vocal replacing Kyleman's. The original Kyleman vocal has been released on a bootleg but not officially. Healing, many accounts of healings were published in her books, which were ghost-written by author Jamie Buckingham of Florida, including her autobiography, which was dictated at a hotel in Las Vegas. Buckingham also wrote his own Kyleman biography that presented an unvarnished account of her life. Legacy For several decades there has been serious debate regarding the authenticity of Catherine Kyleman's ministry. Some would suggest that she was a modern-day prophet exercising the power of God, whereas others would suggest that she was a false prophet, exercising a spirit that masqueraded as God. The debate continues today with many believers upholding Kyleman as an important forerunner, and with some Christian cessationist apologists, such as Hank and Granolf of the Christian Research Institute, considering Kyleman to be an influential forerunner of a false Christianity that robs people of their money and propagates a distorted substitute of true Christian teachings. See also, Constage Le Currency, Counterfeit Revival, Christian Research Institute, Benny Hinn, Amy Semple McPherson, Hank and Groff, Cobus Van Rensburg, References Books by Kyleman, Catherine Kyleman, One Believe in Miracles Bridge Logos Publishers Reverend UPD Edition ISBN 0-88270-657-8, Catherine Kyleman, Never Too Late Bridge Logos Publishers ISBN 0-88270-720-5, External Links, Catherine Kyleman Foundation, Official Website, Find a Grave Entry, Joan Giesen with Catherine Kyleman, Song Ministry Links, Christian Research Institute, because truth matters.